Hello IFAST University, this is Lance and this month I want to talk about some rowing exercises. I was inspired by Jay's awesome starting and ending bar fights video last month with reaching variations and I think comparing and contrasting some rowing variations might help some people out. So let's talk about a dumbbell row and let's talk about a split stance low cable row. How are these different? Well, which is harder? Well, what are we talking about? Um, so the dumbbell row lets me use more weight, so that one's harder, right? But my stability demands are way less when I'm, I got my hand down and I got my knee down and I got my foot down and then I'm holding the weight. Whereas with a split stance low cable row, pretty much all of my weight is on one leg. Um, so, so stability is completely different. So in that sense, the low cable row is much more difficult. Now, what do I want to do? What am I trying to train with my client? Well, if my client is just trying to put on some mass, then a dumbbell row is excellent for that because I can load it up and I can build up that back, right? And that bicep. But it's important to realize that strength and coordination are not the same thing. And they're, they're kind of inseparable, right? So if I just have strength for strength's sake, it's not going to help an athlete do better at their sport. But maybe what they need to do is demonstrate some of that upper body rowing strength while they're in a compromising, uh, stability demanding position like this low cable split stance. Here's our new intern, Anthony DeFilio. Uh, Anthony, can you show me a uh, dumbbell row? Okay, so he gets set up, he's got that left hand down, he's got that left knee down, and he's got that right foot down. I made sure that he was using PR worthy weight, so if he gets tired, you can ridicule him on the Facebook group. Now, Anthony, show me a rep. What I wanna do is just walk you guys through how I'm gonna coach this with a new client. Take us away, Anthony. Just do two more. Okay, pause right there. Just hold it right there if you can. Uh, so he's got a little bit of a flat back, a little bit of a spinal reversal here. Uh, kind of suboptimal. I can tell that he's not really sitting in his hip. He's sitting in his back here. He's getting a nice good stretch with this arm, but as you can see, this shoulder is kind of being dominated, right? It's being pushed away from the bench and his spine is falling down. So you can rest, you can put that back down. So first, what I want you to do, put that left hand down on the table. Thank you for watching this month's video on comparing and contrasting some upper body unilateral rowing variations. Hopefully you get a sense that upper body exercises are also lower body exercises, right? I need to stabilize the lower body if I want the upper body to move effectively. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of this, bring them over to the Facebook group and I'll just tag me, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, and I would really appreciate if you spread the word about IFAST University.